Hi guys, it's Vibs here from SlideNerd. In this video, I'm going to explore the Rotten Tomatoes API. In the last video, I showed you how we can create a volley single ton, which we can use across all our activities and fragments. Now, if you haven't signed up for Rotten Tomatoes, you're going to get the option to register at the top. Now, in my case, I have already signed in. So let's get started with the documentation for the Rotten Tomatoes API. Simply go to the documentation part once you have created your API key and here we talk about the quick dive into the API. As you can see the two major links are lists and movies. On the right side there is a list of all the things that you can search with respect to movies. For example there is movie search, there is upcoming movies out here, there is opening movies, the box office movies. Now we are not going to use every single URL out here inside our app. We are going to use some of them specifically movie search, box office movies, upcoming movies, movie info and movie cast and movie reviews. Now let's take a look at what these APIs do. In other words everywhere you have a URL like this and you are supposed to enter your API key which you got inside your email at the time of registering here. In my case I have simply created a temporary email account for the duration of making this video. So here is my API key which I'll be using to test Rotten Tomatoes API as long as I'm working with this app. The first endpoint that I would like to explore is the movie search. As you can see it gives you the URL here where you can enter your API key. The three parameters that you can pass here are Q that is the plain text query that you want to search which in our case is going to be retrieved from an edit text or a search view placed inside the toolbar and of course we will get to that when we design the UI. Then there's the page limit here which says by default it's 30 in other words the amount of movie results to show per page. Now in our case we are going to use a swipe to refresh layout with a recycler view inside that layout. So when the user swipes up or swipes down we are going to simply load more results from different pages out here. So that's fine with us 30 results per page is pretty good in fact we can stick to 10 if you want. And then there's the page here which is the page number again we'll have to maintain an index to this and simply increment it inside our app somewhere so that the recycler view knows exactly which page to load when the swipe to layout refresh is triggered. Now at this point if you feel un uncomfortable with the swipe to refresh layout and if you're not able to understand what I'm saying don't worry about it because in the next video when we get to code I will show you down and dirty how to work with the swipe refresh layout and how we can make our recycler view paginate with these different results. So this is the API example. Now let's take a look at our simple call with our API that we have. So example call and response. Look at the fields. The, the ones that we are in the total here is 591. I think it's the number of movies that it's showing inside its result. There's the title which we need. We are going to display that. The year, we don't need this. We can probably display the release date for the movie which will be more specific in our case. And then there's of course the ratings, the critic score and the audience score which we are going to need. And the synopsis here is null but I believe there will be a synopsis and I don't plan to display that inside our recycler views item because what I believe is that we should let the person click on the recycler views item then show a detailed info about that movie where we include our synopsis. Now poster images there are four of them but the funny thing is they are all of the same size. So if I click open that image this is the simple small image which I see which I believe is 85 into 75 or something like that. So further go and take a look at the other images they are all of the same size. I wonder if that's the case for every single movie result out here. If that is the case then what we will have is simply the image displayed and the title displayed adjacent to the image inside our recycler views item. Other than that there is the cast info over here. We are going to display the cast when the user clicks on an item in the recycler view as part of the details of that movie. Again there is links here. Now let's, let, let's explore this API and see how we can use it. Simply take this link here, enter that in your new tab. We need to enter our API key. In my case this is my temporary API key which I have retrieved with the help of a temporary account which I will use only for the duration of this video. Simply go here, enter your API key. We also need to enter the search term if you remember Q, required, false, everything is optional here. Let's just try what happens when we enter this. So it says link template blah 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 but it has not given us any results because we have not entered the search term. We are supposed to enter it like this Q equals to the search term page limit is the results per page and page equals to page number. So in our case we'll simply enter the search term for now as Q equals to the I don't know what is going to come out of that result just enter and notice how I have written the plus super it's URL encoded you're supposed to separate words and URL encode them the same way. Now let's try enter and see what happens. 
So at this point, there is something coming up. It says The Gallows. And then there's another movie here, I think. National Theatre Live, Man and Superman. All right. So there are some results that are popping up. In fact, there is a lot of results out here. And it says 212 results. Since it's going to display 30 results in each page, let's go to the bottom and find out what is happening. So here, all the way at the bottom, we have links to the next page over here. So if we open that link here, again, that's going to say account is inactive because we have to enter the API key here. So I'll simply go here and say and API key the same way. Copy, copy that part from here and API key equals to blah, blah, blah. And there is my second page of results. And this is how the JSON feed is actually working. So at the bottom of the page, you simply have a link. Now in this case, take a look. There's a link to the next page and the previous page over here. So this is how you're supposed to navigate in JSON. Now in Android code, we'll have to do a lot more than this. But don't worry, I will walk you through this entire process as we go in code. Now one more thing that you guys haven't noticed is how my JSON looks on my Google Chrome. Now if you open the same link, I'm sure this is how you see your JSON feed, right? Unformatted, dirty, cluttered. But in my case, I'm using an extension to make JSON viewing look far better. And you can simply go to the Google Chrome extension store where you can have JSON viewer in the search. And this is the one which I'm using which says the most beautiful and customizable JSON P highlighter your eyes have ever seen. Now in your case, you're welcome to use any of these. And in fact, if you find a better viewer than mine, please tell me in the comments below so that I'll switch to that as well because I haven't tried all of these. So going back, let's get to the next API or JSON endpoint that we are going to use. The next endpoint that I'm going to work with is the box office movies. Here it says displays the top movies, earning movies sorted by the most recent weekend gross ticket sales. Again, they have given a URL endpoint here and you have to enter your API key. And it says the two parameters are limit and country. Now I tried the country with India, but it did not work for me. In your case, if it's working, then great. Let me know about it in the comments as well. It says if you don't specify the country, it's going to return US data by default. Now let's take a look at how the feed actually looks. So go ahead, go ahead here, enter the API key along with the URL there. And this is what you see. There's the ID of the movie, which we are going to need for finding the details about the movie, like the detailed info or actors, people who are involved in the movie, reviews, etc. Title, American Sniper, year we are going to need that, MPAA rating, runtimes, a lot of information here. The critic score, the audience score, the synopsis. Again, I don't believe that we should display the synopsis right inside the recycler views item. Rather, we should let the user click on the item and then show details about that movie. So again, we will decide which of these items we should show in the first level and which of this information we should show in the second level. Again, if you take a look at the thumbnail images out here, they're pretty small images and we'll have to stick to a small image view inside our app for that. There's also details about the actor involved. And if you can go down here, you will see there's something about reviews. They have given the links for that movie's reviews, the cast. That's great. We can extract the link right from here without having to worry. But remember, if you run it directly now here, it's going to say account inactive because you have to enter your API key. So now I enter my API key by saying question mark API keys, blah, blah, blah. And now it gives me the details about that movie's actors and directors. Whoa, that's a huge list of people out here. And we may have to sort them out. Now, the funny thing is there are no images here for the actors. And that is, again, a shortcoming in the Rotten Tomatoes API. If you think you know a better way around this, be sure to let me know about that as well in the comments below. So going down all the way to our feed, you will notice that there is something about pagination. Hey, wait, there is no pagination here. Great. What do the people say there at the API at the bottom? They say, I would like to do pagination. Is it possible to pass the page number and size? Now, this probably means that there is no pagination support for the box office gross movies out here. So fine, we'll find a way around that. We'll display whatever is available to us. If you know a better way, do let me know in the comments again as well. The upcoming movies API shows you the list of upcoming movies out there. It says the results are paginated if they go past the specified page limit. Again, there's a page limit here, which means there are going to be several results out there. Again, this format is pretty much similar to what we saw earlier when we talked about movie search. Same kind of ID, title, year, rating, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to get into the details of how we are going to use this endpoint. At this current point, I have not seen how the movie cast and movie reviews API looks like. But what I believe is they are going to need an ID just like movie info needs an ID for a specific movie that you want to see. So you give the ID and it's going to give you all the details like the synopsis, the ratings, the score, the actors and blah, blah, blah. Now this is again 
very much similar to what we saw earlier and hence we can jump to the next api which is going to be movie cast and like i told it is using the id as well now in other words this simply means that when the user clicks on an item on the recycler view for a particular movie we need to get the id of that movie and show the user the next screen where they can view the details such as info cast and reviews now again movie reviews here looks pretty much the same you simply give the id of the movie and then there is some different parameters out here like review type says top critic the types are all top critic dvd top critic etc so there's page limits page country again now country i have not tested it yet whether it works for countries like india or not but if you have tested this you can tell me in the comments below so this is basically the complete walkthrough that i give you on how we can use the json api for different endpoints on rotten tomatoes in the next video let's use this endpoint inside and make our recycler view fetch data with a swiped reference layout in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day